All right, hey, it's great to be at Stevens High School visiting with their head wrestling coach, Travis King. And Travis, it's good to get with you and talk about some wrestling again. Yeah, you know, uh, rest this year was a little different start. Um, we had about a two week time where our school was in a level of the pandemic where we weren't able to have sign ups and normal tryout weeks and normal traditional weeks. So I've been a little anxious about the way how we were going to perform throughout the couple times. So we modified some of the things that we do and the way we start and uh, we got off and rolling this weekend and we're excited and ready to get back in here and do some work. You had the rapid invite over the weekend. You have some standouts there? Yeah, you know, Dwight, we had a lot of uh, good matches, quality matches. You know, the, the opening round was tough. You know, all those teams had already had matches under their belt. Other than our wrestle-offs and our uh, inter-squad practice, we didn't have any time matches, referees. So, you know, we met after each round, and that first round I wasn't real I would give our grade about a C, you know, and as that day progressed, we worked on and uh, we ended up crowning, you know, a handful of champions in that pod. Uh, we're able to come away with a modified team type, you know, in our pod, we were the team with the highest points. So I was happy about that, you know, and knew coming into the second day of those kind of tournaments, even if it was our regular tournament, the second days are always harder than first. And, you know, I challenge the guys the same way as I always have. And, you know, a new day, new start. You know, yesterday was yesterday. And we had four tough duels. We started off with Millbank and uh, kind of got, got going into our dual season. And then we came right back with a tough Harrisburg team and had some good wins in that duel and pulled away from them. and. We, had a, we knew going in our last two duels were going to be the rematches of last season's state championship against Watertown. They were down a few starters, you know, due to this because of close contacts and different for reasons. And, uh, but we battled up against them. We came and pulled away from them. And, you know, we ended the day just like the main event. We were the last duel going against Brandon Valley. And they're surely one of the best teams in our division. So... We battled back and forth, traded the first five matches by pin, and then got into into battling, and we ended up edging them 38-36, and they were without a couple starters also. So, you know, going looking forward, it's gonna be another tough season for all of the Class A wrestling team. The Raiders are back-to-back -back state champions, defending back-to-back -back state champions, yeah. and going for a third this year. Is that on the mind of your team? You know, that was one of our major goals. I kind of, you can see behind us our history, and this was the third time that this school had backed up wrestling championships, and both of those other opportunities fell short, and I've had it in there. It isn't always our goal, but it is one of our big goals that we've talked about every week, if not every day, you know. We understand the last two seasons were the last two seasons, and this year is going to be another challenge and another vision quest that we're going to have to work our way through. So, I mean, I, th I was happy with the opening weekend. You know, I wouldn't say we're by any means the favorite right now, but, you know, if I can get this team to believe, I think we have a good opportunity. We're one of the schools with a chance to come away victors this February. Got strong kids in all the weight classes? Yeah, you know, we're uh, getting our team right back together. And, you know, we never know with this type of season when a kid could be out or not. So we're really concentrating on filling two teams, you know, a solid. Our JV this weekend was in a pod by themselves, and they came out right ahead of here. They won the JV pod this week. So... We we're challenging those guys, you know, this season's gonna be hard for them. They're not gonna get as many matches like this weekend is always a big weekend in Hot Springs and due to COVID and, and uh, the state requirements on <clears throat> competitors, it's kind of modified. So we're doing some things for them and the local schools in the area have come out and supported that and helped us. So we're looking forward to trying to get them as many matches as we can. All right, Travis King, uh, head wrestling coach here at Stevens, and 
We really appreciate you taking time to talk some wrestling. Yeah, you bet, Dwight. And uh, we uh, we look forward to seeing you again sometime. If you have time during the year, we're uh, we're going to be in here working hard and climbing and building for what we hope to be another successful season. I think we're one of the teams that has an opportunity and. You know, each year you have an opportunity. We're really excited about trying to really excel when there's an opportunity. So we're looking to be ready. So thank you. Sounds good, Coach. Thank you. You guys stay safe.